Hello and welcome back to Silver Run Forest here in Farming Simulator 22 where it's a beautiful December morning. Now today I have two primary objectives and one of which is to buy this. This is on lease, this is our, this is our Volvo excavator and it will cost us about 360000 to buy it. We have the uh, lease to own mod. And uh, the other primary objective is to plough in a field. We bought this field here yesterday. Um, it's not really a field with a number on it, it's like a placeable area but it's completely flat and it's a place where we'd like to have productions all around the sides. But the first thing to do is to plough in a field like in the middle of it. Um, so we need some money for for this excavator and for doing all the other stuff we need to do. So the first thing I'm going to do, if you look here, you will see that we've collected 17 of 20 collectibles. Now I know where the last three are and I'm going to just show you. So the first one is here. So I'm going to collect it now. I'm going to go to Rural Farm here. Here we are, and I need to go this way, and I will see you when I get there. So here we are. It's it's a watchtower, but it's not up the watchtower. It's in this shed over here. It's a little doggy. Hello. Just got in. So the other one is on the edge of this of this uh, pond here. I will show you again when I get there. Okay, here it is, and it's on the edge of this pond. I'm kind of pointing in this direction, so I'll pick this one up. One more to go, and the last one is at the edge of this field here, by a little house just here. So it's a bit of a it's a bit of a walk, and again, I'll see you when I get there. Okay, it's the last one. It's by this house here. You can probably already see it. It's a little doggy and this is the final collectible. So after I pick this up, I'm expecting fireworks and uh, some kind of rocket display or something. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, but there is, if I don't know if you know this, but in town there is a fire department and next to it, um, I think this way, yeah, is a museum. And if we go in here, we will see What's this called? Great Woods Gallery. We will see all of our collectibles that we've collected. And no, we can't collect them again. <laughs> I'll try it. So everything we collected. This one was in the mine. Um, squirrel, can't remember. Owl, I don't know. There's an eagle somewhere that we found uh, perched atop uh, a pond. But they're all here anyway. So, okay. So the primary objective. Let's get back to the farm and... Right, the, other, the I would like to sell some stuff now because I'd like to pay for this uh, ASAP. Now, if we want to buy this, it's going to be um, 366,000 and we have 252. So my math tells me we need 114,000 more. So we have some productions and we have things to sell. We have armoire. Yeah, we have the armoires and we have cat trees and we have um, the prefab walls and all that stuff should be worth quite a lot of money. And by the way, this iron furnace here, I had it distributing, but it was only distributing to the furniture factory, which was completely full. So yesterday, before I went uh, to bed, um, I took it off distributing and put it on storing. So there's lots of metal to sell here as well. Let's just see actually how much we can sell metal for at the moment. Okay, so it's always a good price on the train. So we'll do it on the train. 6202. And what about the armoires? On the train, 4618. Very good price. And what about the cat trees? <laughs> on the train, 6838. So I've ca already called the shop and we can borrow their, their forklift, which I'm going to do. Um, so I'm just going to take the truck and get our low loader and go off to the shop to pick up the forklift so we can pick these things up. Um, I don't want to do things always by super strength so, so I'm going to borrow this forklift. It's a really nice Manitou forklift and um, I'll see you at the... I will, uh, do you know what? I'll see you at the sawmill when I've, when I've picked it up and I've got it all, all collected. The shop said I could borrow this Manitou um, forklift, so it's fine. They'll just give me a call if they need it back. I've got my phone switched on. Um, I was just thinking, we need to 
mow the grass today because that will finish off our sort of precision farming on that field by harvesting. But uh, I've got one or two other things um, as a priority for us. And the first thing is to call the train because this uh, is obviously a train station here. Uh, let's go over and call the train. And I need to switch the help on for this because otherwise I can't see if it's been called. And uh, I keep pressing the, <laughs> the button here. So, rent train. Right. Okay, that's fine. So what we'll do is... I'll, I'll get the um, yeah I'll get the Manitou off the back here and we'll start loading up well we'll start picking up anyway okay so let's see how my forklift skills are um, yeah, I think I'll pick them up from this direction. What have we got? Five... Five... What are they called? Prefab walls. Fantastic. Uh, Alright, let's just do the first one and then I'll probably skip through the rest. But let's see how my, my skills are with this thing. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, I think we'll have to have two train journeys today because um, I'll yeah I'll send the thing straight to Elm Creek when the when these are, are loaded, but um, then we'll call it again when we're, when we're further down south. So, okay, let's just wait for the train. Okay, here it comes. And I don't know about you, but I I love trains, <laughs> and it's always a bit thrilling to see a train pull into a station. Uh, right then, let's. Um, we might need to get it lined up here, unless this stops... Oh, nearly. Okay, I just need to move the train a little bit, I think. Okay. All right, that's fine. All right, let's just see if, if I can uh, manage to get this on... on board. All right, let's go and get the rest. Okay, so the final one, and this is a lovely forklift actually. They're so much better than the forklifts used to be. Uh, and I also found some planks and non-planks here, which I'll put on the lorry over here um, to take to, I think the flooring factory, I'm not too sure. Anyway, let's see if I can just do the normal thing, of strapping it down. Can you strap it down on the train? I think so. I just want to make sure, actually. <laughs> I don't know if it's strapped down. Okay. All right, let's go. I think we need to go backwards because that's the shortest route. So, uh, yeah. I'm not entirely sure how much we're going to get for these, but I think they're 10,000 each. So, plus the environmental reward. Okay, let's see it go. Yeah, 51,000, about 54,000. 
So we need a bit more money for the... There it goes in the tunnel. Yeah, we need a bit more money for the excavator. So let's get back to this and we'll put this back on again. I'm holding up all this traffic. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll put this on and I'll see you at the, I think the furniture factory where we've got some armoires to pick up. Okay, so here we are at the furniture factory. Uh, I had to put the, I had to tag it because I wasn't entirely sure how to get here, and we've still got pedestrians here. <laughs> so, um, actually, I brought the the planks along here that were at the the sawmill. So I will just use a bit of super strength to put them in here, um, just here, because I think it's a bit short of planks long. So. Okay, um, so I think the arm was around, yeah, around the back here. Oh, it's a bit tight. I wonder if I can manage to pick them up like this. They're pretty heavy, so I'm not sure even super strength will do it. Let's see. Yeah, it's okay. It's a bit tight, but you can do it. All right, let's go and get this on the low loader hello sir <laughs> all right so just these two and then what else did we have to pick up the cat trees I think okay I'll just go and get the other one I really like this furniture um, the furniture shop. You look in all the windows, there's sort of very highly detailed sort of uh, pictures in there. You can see in all the rooms and stuff. Um, I think it's brilliant. All right, so is it two of these armoires, I think? I think it's just two of these. I hope so, because <laughs> it's tricky to pick them up, you know, around the back there. Uh, let's just have a go and have a quick look around the back. I don't think there were any more. No, there's chairs, but I think I'll just leave the chairs here, actually. So... All right, let's get this back on board. Okay. Um, I think that we might be able to put the cat trees on here. I think I could just pick them up, actually. Let's just see where the pet accessories is. Just here. Let's tag it so I can find it again. Uh, so where where is it? Just over there, right just behind us. Okay, I'll go around the block and I'll see you at the, ke at the pet accessories after I run over these people. <laughs> okay, look at all the cat trees we've got. Fantastic. Right. I'll see if I can get them all on board. Brilliant. I think that's everything actually. So... Look at this, they've got to do something about these people here. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so we need to go to the train station for this, for the all this stuff. And, oh, we're just opposite it. That's handy, isn't it? So we'll go over there and we'll put it, we'll have to call the train again. And, uh, and uh, we should get quite a lot of money for this stuff, actually. Um, right, let's just go here. And then we should be able to get everything off. Uh, Alright, let's go and call the train again. Okay, that's everything put on. Not too tidy, but all put on. And the cat trees actually are much more valuable per item than the arm was. I think the cat trees are... Let's just have a look at it. The cat trees per 1,000 litres are 6838, and the armoires are 4618. And I think these are all 1,000 litre things here. 1,000 pieces, yeah. 1,000 pieces. So we should make more cat trees and less armoires, basically. All right, let's get going. And this time I'm going to go forwards. All right, I'll see you at the tunnel. Okay, so nearly at the tunnel. I had a bit of an issue with things falling off. I don't think strapping, you know, just getting into the 
engine at the front here and uh, strapping works with uh, trains. I think that you have to strap things individually. How much have we got? Do you know what? We haven't quite got enough to buy the beast. We need 369,000. I'm a bit disappointed actually. I thought by selling the armoires, the cat trees and the prefab walls we would have enough money. Let's just check actually. Uh, forestry machines, this one, purchase 366,000. Oh man, we've just got enough money. Do you know what I might do is go and sell all that metal that we've got. So, alright, I'm going to see you back at the farm. And I'm going to just skip to the bit where all the metal is on the on the low loader. <laughs> I'll see you back. I'll see you back at the farm. All right, so everything's on board, and I really want to rush through this because um, I started off excited about trains, and now I'm a bit fed up of them. <laughs> and uh, I'd just like to get this this bit over and done with as soon as possible. So I'll see you at the train. All right, so all the metal on board and strapped down. Okay, let's get going. Okay, here we are at the tunnel once again, <laughs> the third time today. So how much will we get for all this metal? Probably quite a lot actually, because metal's worth about six grand per thing. 103 vehicle leasing costs and... 67 about 70,000 that's pretty good I was worried then when 12,000 came up I thought it was just 12,000 so I'm gonna go immediately back to do you know what? I'm gonna get the lorry back from the train station first I'll see you back at the farm I feel like there should be some kind of ceremony for buying the beast but uh, there won't be, obviously. Um, I, do you know what? I, I would really like to, har to harvest this grass so we get uh, to our final precision farming score. So, let's go to our least items and the Volvo EC380DL, this one here, and let's buy it. 366,000, yes. It's ours, look at that. So, in here, forestry machines, we own it and the price has already immediately gone down. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Gone down to 294,000. 60,000 already wiped off the price. But I'm a very proud owner of this machine, this Volvo Excavator. I've, uh, this is a machine I wanted to keep. Um, the next thing we need to do is probably wash it. So that's one primary objective achieved today. Uh, the other one is to map out a field on this piece of land we just bought yesterday so i'm going to get the fan cell onto the back of the low loader and then we have to go to the shop to get a, a plow and then we're losing the light a bit i think i might have to turn it on to like one time speed or something but i would like to get that field mapped out today uh so i will get all this sorted out and i will see you at the shop for the plow Okay, so there's a plow that I always use, which is a lizard one, and I, I would like that. But first of all, something I haven't checked today is the roller coaster, and I would just like to go to that and see how we're doing. So the roller coaster is just here. See if I can visit it. Yeah. So floor tiles. Okay, so the final thing to do is the floor tiles. Two, three, seven, five. Okay, fine. All right, well, we, we might get to that, I don't know, maybe not tomorrow, but in January or something. So let's go in the shop. Where, how do we go in the shop? here okay uh, let's go to plows just here and there's a lizard one just here so I'd like the the big one please yeah and we'll just lease that okay oh it's a shame it's not folded up uh, do you know what I'm just gonna use super strength and put it on here somehow and then we'll get it over to the field That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. Okay. Okay, so how do we get to the field? So we're at the shop here. So we just go the usual way and turn left after it. Okay, that's fine. I'll see you at our new field. Okay, here we are. This is the site of the last collectible, which is just behind me now. So I'm just going to park it over on 
the side here because we need to leave some room on the side for um, productions so maybe kind of like just sort of here it's only going to be a small field but um, a field nonetheless and this is mainly for our precision farming and I think what I would do first in a field this size I think I've got super strength on I just turn it off is sugar uh, because sugar is high yield um, and we can get quite a lot of sugar out of this field I think so let's get in here actually I just need to get this off here don't I this and then let's get in the tractor and drive it off Okay. Okay, so um, I might leave the lorry there as sort of a barrier to say, like, we need productions here. Let me just try actually putting down a production and see where it comes out to. Say we want a uh, production factory like. I don't know, the bakery. Uh, let's just turn it round. If we had it here, it would come out like here. So, all right, I think I'll leave the lorry just there as like a, just a, a, a guide sort of thing as to where we, we can and can't plough. So, all right, let's go to allow create fields. And I'm going to put this on a bit of a time lapse because it's going to take a bit of a while to mark it out and then fill it in so So this is our our second primary objective done today ploughing in this field which is something I wanted to do today um, I would like to analyze it actually uh, just to finish the episode to analyze the field to see uh, what it's made out of because I don't think you can even see that it was like a, a placeable area with no information about it um, so let, look at the state of this tractor <laughs> let's go to precision farming and go to this field do you know what? I don't think we can analyse it like this. I think we have to have an Isaria Scout and I will do that next time because I run out of time for today. But thanks for watching. Primary objectives achieved. We bought the big beast and we ploughed this field and that's really what I wanted to get done today. So I'll see you next time on December the 2nd. Bye for now.